Well, another year is coming to a close, and I saw a lot of great films this year. Some entertaining, and some spoke to the heart. I saw way more than 10 films this year, and I have some honorable mentions before we get started. The first honorable mention is In Our Hands, The Battle for Jerusalem. It was a documentary that came out back in June. Actually, the first screening was in May. The second and third screenings were in June. Uh, it's a documentary about the Six-Day War in Israel that was back in the 60s. A uh, very powerful documentary. If you haven't seen that yet, you should check it out. My second honorable mention is Lucky's Treasure that came out in the middle of the year, around July, I think. It's a very powerful story about a girl who is trying to help her grandfather after her grandmother dies. Uh, if you haven't seen that, you should check that out. My third honorable mention is The Shack. I saw that film back in March. There's a lot of controversy behind that film, um, and there's a lot of critics that hated that film. Overall, I enjoyed the film. Um, I don't think it was as bad as, as people said it was. Um, it wasn't one of the best films I saw this year, but it was a good film, and it, it definitely spoke to my heart. I had to mention that in some way. And my fourth and last honorable mention is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It wasn't the best superhero film I saw this year, but I still had a great time. Now moving on to the top 10 films of 2017. Now these are my 10 favorite films that I saw this year. Some spoke to me, some were entertaining, and some were both. Number 10, Spider-Man Homecoming. The best Spider-Man movie since Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. I thoroughly enjoyed this film and I had a blast watching it. It was just an all-around fun movie and so I had to put it in my top 10 list. Number 9, Wonder Woman. It was very entertaining. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Number 8, Star Wars The Last Jedi. The best Star Wars movie I've seen since Revenge of the Sith. This movie was so good, and even though it did take some things from Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, for the most part, it was an original film, and that's what I love about The Last Jedi, and so it is number eight on my list. Number seven, All Saints, starring John Corbett. It's about a businessman who becomes a pastor, and he's supposed to close a struggling church, and then he changes his mind and tries to save the church. It's a very powerful story. If you haven't seen it, you should check that out. Number six is The Star. It's an animated film about the birth of Jesus from the point of view of the animals. This film was hilarious, and there were also some parts that tugged on the heartstrings. You should definitely check that out. Number five is A Question of Faith. Now, when I first saw the trailer for this, I was like, Man, I hope we get this in Lakeland, because there was already two films that we did not get. So when I saw this trailer, I was like, I hope this comes to Lakeland. And it did, and I was excited. It stars T.C. Stallings and C. Thomas Howell. It's a very powerful story. If you haven't seen A Question of Faith, you should definitely check that out. Number four, another movie I was highly anticipating, Let There Be Light. Starring Kevin and Sam Sorbo and directed by Kevin Sorbo. It was a very powerful story and it tugs on the heartstrings. If you haven't seen that, you should check that out. Number three, Heavenbound. Starring Michael Joyner and Nancy Stafford. This was a hilarious comedy about a couple who's going through some money problems and, and the wife has an idea to break into her boss's house and steal his late wife's jewels. And the events after that are just hilarious. If you haven't seen Heaven Bound, I highly recommend it. And number two, The Case for Christ, starring Mike Vogel and Erica Christensen. It was a very powerful story based on a true story about Lee Strobel and his journey to becoming a Christian. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie and it really spoke to me. 
If you haven't seen The Case for Christ, you should check that out. And number one. Now, I was really thinking about this because Dallas Jenkins had two films that, that came out this year. And I was like, which one is better than the other? Now, the second one that came out, I'm choosing to look at that as a TV show pilot because that's what it is. It didn't start out that way, but it became that. And so number one is The Resurrection of Gavin Stone. This was a hilarious comedy starring Brett Dalton and Angela Johnson. And of course, directed by Dallas Jenkins. I've been a fan of Dallas Jenkins ever since I saw What If. And since then, I've seen all of his films. He's a great director. And it's probably not going to happen, but he should get recognized by the Oscars. But anyway, The Resurrection of Gavin Stone is about a washed up celebrity who gets in trouble and has to do community service at a church. And when he finds out about the Easter play that they're planning, he lies and says he's a Christian so he can audition. If you haven't seen The Resurrection of Gavin Stone, you should check that out. So anyway, those were my top 10 favorite films I saw this year. If you want to share your top 10 favorite films, you can put them in the comments below. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys have a very Happy New Year. Peace!